So this video is going to walk you through how to create a very simple Microsoft Teams. It's meant for Intro to Engineering and Engineering Technology at Temple University. So first, we are going to go ahead and log into Teams and open it up. You can see that I'm logged into Temple University up here. If you are not logged into Temple University, you want to make sure that you go ahead and, and log into Temple University. It should be your TU email address. Then you're going to want to go to the Teams tab, and you're going to want to go to Join or Create Team. You're going to click there. You're going to create a team. There's lots of different options, but we're going to make a really simple team, and we're going to start with Other. We're going to give it a team name. I recommend just doing Intro Fall 2022 Group and then put your group number here. So if your group number is 10, you would put 10 instead of the um, two hashtags. Don't need to put a description. Everything else can stay the same. You're going to go ahead and click Next. It's going to create the team. You want to add some members. So I am going to add um, just some members, the other professor that teaches the course, and I'll add one of the TAs piece. Go ahead and add those members. And you want to make sure that those are members, or you can put your team members as owners. That's fine. Um, there's not a huge difference between members and owners. Go ahead and hit close, and it'll bring up your team. So you'll see a couple different things here. Files is where you should store any file that you work on as a group. Because if you store it in here, you can work on it together. It'll automatically share it and automatically update it with Microsoft Word documents and Excel documents, and this will work just like Google Docs, where if, if you make a change, it'll sync it with all your other group members. For our purposes, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take our group check-in form, and we're going to go to the file section, and we're going to click our group check-in form. You won't see this from my folder, but you just click and drag it from a folder to there, and it'll go ahead and upload it. And then you can see the group check-in forms right here, you can click there and you can edit the file. So you're going to want to find three common days of the weeks and times. Um, and whether or not you can do this on campus or virtual. And the virtual meeting should take place via Teams. And you're going to fill in your group member's name here. And every time you meet with your group, you're going to fill in a new row of this. Um, and make sure this is filled out every time because this will be a required thing that you're going to hand in. One more thing, when you're discussing things with your group, if you want the whole group to get a notification, if you want no one to get a notification, you can just say, this is a message where no one will get a notification. Just like that. Now, everyone when they log into Teams will see that, but they won't see a notification, they won't see, they won't get any activity or anything here. Um, if you want to notify your whole team, you can type the name of the team. So I'm typing intro fall 2022 group, and then please see here, you will get a notification from this test message. And let's say I, I just wanted to talk to Peace, but I wanted everyone in my group just to see what we're talking about. So I always, I, I, that's the beauty of Teams, is you always want to have all your communication via Teams. So I could say to Peace, this is a test message that I am using for a video, so disregard these notifications from this team. So there you have it. That's how you're going to start, and that's how you're going to communicate in Teams. Right up here, you can go to a meet, and that will start a meeting that all of your team members can join. Any recordings you have in that meeting will be recorded. You can click here to schedule a meeting if you want to schedule a meeting with your group members. And then look, so Peace actually just gave me a thumbs up. That wasn't even planned. Um, so it means that she saw that message. So um, you can schedule a meeting like that. Um, but what I would say is for right now, don't overcomplicate things. Just talk with your teammates here. Um, and then 
you can meet them live here if you're not face-to-face, -face, if you're virtual, and use all your files here. The last thing I'll say is with your file section here, if you go to sync, this will, um, as long as you have OneDrive on your computer, this will sync a folder on your computer to this. So I'll show you that folder in a second once it syncs. Okay, so it went ahead and sunk. And we're going to show you the folder. It looks like Temple University in your folder list. And this is all of my teams, so you probably won't have as many as me. But I have Intro Fall 2020 Group Number. And that, if I work on it from here, will be synced with my team. Um, and so we can work on files together. If I open it up like this, it'll open it up outside of Teams, so I won't have to go into Teams to open up this file. I can just work on files um, that I'm working on, and it'll work. In, it'll open it in regular Excel. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.